Hey guys, welcome to Blizzard. Today I am here with the origin story of the very well-known cartoon Phineas and Ferb. I mean, who haven't seen Phineas and Ferb, right? But many people don't know the real story behind it. So, yeah, let's get started. Well, well, it was a happy family, but uh, Ferb had some mental problems that that didn't allow him to talk much. And for Candice, he has problems of her own. And Phineas was kind of nerd and hyperactive that made him vulnerable to bullying. But but things got worse when Phineas died for some reasons I don't know. This this made Candice really unhappy and she developed schizophrenia, some kind of you know mental problem, which uh, you know you build your own imagination and create your own world kind of thing. And yeah, so. So Candice created a wall for Phineas was alive and with Ferb was building these crazy things in the backyard. The reason why her mother could not see it because it never existed and Phineas was never really alive. And the super villain Dr. Doofenshmirtz was actually the psychiatrian Can- Candice was going to or made to go. Anyway, so Candice was angry that her mother could not see these super crazy things being built in the backyard. So she wrote all these, uh, all those, in her diary, which which later was given by her mom to Walt Disney, to form one of the best cartoon show, you could say. Well, you know everybody knows it, right? Phineas and Ferb. So this was the origin story, or the true story, or the reality behind Phineas and Ferb that inspired Phineas and Ferb, and. So what do you think of the video please don't forget to write in the comment section and if you like the video then give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we upload many videos like this and yeah i'll be happy to have you in the blizzard family